Hello and welcome once again for game number two here at Pansy Field, beautiful Scranton, Pennsylvania. For the fourth annual Shane Rivenberg Memorial Tournament for BFA Sports, I'm Al Fisher along with my brother from another, Doug Stasek. Got baseball UPA guy team. Number 20 on the mound. And it's Todd Kobicka. Ball lifted to center field. Getting underneath it is number 18, and that's Zach Kovacic. He makes the grab. It's like a tailor-made, just routine fly ball. Kovacic just like, yeah, I'm here. Guess seating is a premium here in the press box of BFA Sports today, huh, boys? That's all right. C.J. Levine stepping into the plate at a C-square high school. First pitch to him is over first strike call. He's 5'10", 165 pounds, rising senior. He's a middle infielder, outfielder, and a pitcher. It's called Becca. Line sets in the delivery. Breaking ball. Pounded to second base. Here's the throw. Pick nicely there. Pick Line game on fleek. Pick game on what? Pick game on fleek. Uh, okay. Line I'm buying. If delivery. you're selling. There it Breaking is. Ball. Replay. Pounded to second base. Ball hit the second base. Here's the throw. Look at that nice pick. pick. nicely Love there. Front. Love to see that, man. Nice work there. Ball lifted to right field. And catch is made very easily, and that'll end this half inning. We're ready to go to break unless we got a replay. No. And we don't, so we'll go to break and be right back. We're back here at PNC Field as we move to the bottom half of the first inning. Pitcher on the mound is Derek Gutramout for Team Baseball U New York. Gutramout at a Lime High School, 5'9", 145 pounds, class of 22, rising junior. Looks like his battery mate is Wyatt Patchett. Gucci Mount's battery mate is Wyatt Patchett. The first batter he will face is number two, Wyatt Pfeiffer. At a Wallen Powell Pack High School, six foot 165 pound rising junior. He drops a bunt nicely down third base side, and they're not gonna get him. As Pfeiffer got down the line a hard 90. Beat that one out easily. Better bring up number 10, Ryan Cesarini. Ball 
Cesarini at a Valley View High School. It's a 3.88 GPA, stands at 5'11", 195 pounds. First pitch, Guchamount. Fastball, 80 miles an hour on the outside corner for a strike call. Kind of getting lucky tonight was we had an active scoreboard. So we'll be able to give you an accurate ball strike count. Pfeiffer takes his lead off of first base. It gets back. Scooch him out, chases him back. Cody! There goes the runner. Pitches fouled straight back, so he'll have to return to first. As Cesarini fouls that one straight back on the screen. Okay, let's make sure. Right? I know there was a left-handed batter, but once we show the first pitch, if we got a runner on base. I want to stay on the uh, the runner, all right? Good job. I got your shot now. And Cesarini now with an 0-2 count after he fouled that last pitch back at the screen. Piper at first base. Gucci out, takes his sign. Goes back to first, and Piper gets back easily. Pfeiffer fakes, but stays there. Does not go. That pitch is outside for a ball, so it's now one and two to Cesarini. In the bottom of the first here at PNC Field in picturesque Scranton, Pennsylvania. Dude, this is an absolute amazing ballpark here. Pitch is fouled back straight again. Count remains at one and two to Cesarini. But I guess... And you should have seen the backdrop. Actually, the full foliage. Yeah, I just it was it was absolutely not, it was incredible. You'll see it tomorrow, but pretty awesome. And the stadium is <laughs> top notch. Well, George Steinbrenner and his the late George Steinbrenner and his family spare usually no expense when it comes to the game of baseball. Here goes Pfeiffer. Here's the throw. Not in time. So Wyatt made it. Great effort to try to get him. It's getting a little little chilly out of here tonight. Oh, welcome to the mountains, man. Yeah. It's good for the good for the lungs. I mean, for a guy that's always full of hot air, you can probably afford to a little, little cool air, balance it out. You think so? That must be you, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's Rothfeld that's sitting behind the dish. I finally got his number 27. Pitch is fouled to the third base side and out of play. It's not Wyatt Patchett behind the dish. Cesarini continues to battle with a 2-2 count as he continues to foul off pitches from Gotramelt. Hope I say his last name right. Gotramelt. Yeah, he's been sitting consistently in the fastball at around 80 miles an hour so far and realizing that it is a bit chilly here. Oh, nice breaking ball. Just S missed. 68 miles an hour on the break, 12-mile-an-hour differential. Kid's throwing good. Got some late movement, which is uh, that bite, exactly what you're looking for. Count now full to Cesarini. And Piper at second base, scoring position. And here's the 3-2 pitch. Fastball out of the zone as Cesarini will go back in, I believe, with a 3-2 count. I think he gets at least two more pitches. Mm -hmm. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, so Cesarini goes down swinging. A fastball by Gutramount, and here's the replay of that last pitch. The put-out pitch by Gutramount. Nice nice spot, too. Right in the hands. Right upstairs, baby. Yep, right, right in the right hands. Upstairs. We got number 22. Oh, 
Ball gets by Rothfeld. As Pfeiffer moves up to second base, or third base, I should say. Number 22, J.D. Greeley is at the plate. Greeley out of Pocono Mountain West. Stands at 6'1", 165. He's a rising senior class of 21. Plays third base, second base, and a right-handed pitcher. Nice pitch there by Gucci Matt on the outside corner for a strike. Here's the 1-1 pitch from Gutrebell. Fouled back at the screen with an 80-mile-an-hour fastball. Out of the arm of Gutrebell. Pfeiffer hoping to get home here, this prime I or RBI opportunity early on. Nice shot from our third base camera as well as our center field camera right here. As Gutrebell gets his sign, he winds and delivers. Breaking ball, foul to the right Right field side and out of play. And Pfeiffer at third base with one out. J.D. Greeley at the plate trying to bring him in. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball and a filthy one by Grucham out. Swinging him in, struck him out as Greeley goes down swinging. Here it is again. Mm. Ooh, filthy. Yes, it was. The put out pitch. It's number 18, Zach Kolvachik. Stepping to the plate. Kovacic out of Valley View High School. Stands at 6'2", 190. Class of 21, rising senior. He's a dude who just meant to play October baseball. Got the whole got the whole baseball look to him. Works out like a machine. You can see the lower half of his body. He's really been focused on getting bigger, stronger, faster. And, you know, I look at the jump that he's made on the physicality standpoint just from the first time we saw him back in June to now. And he is a uh, – he is a physical specimen right now. Just on the outside corner for a strike call. All right. Pfeiffer, a little bit, or Pfeiffer, a little lonely down there at third base. Hey, Looking wanna, to come you home. Wanna, you want to go talk to him? Yeah, well, I think he wants to go about 90 feet here. I'm sure Coach Mike Guy would feel much the same. Nice pitch fouled off. It's Kovacic. Not only does it work out in the, in the weight room, he's also working out in the classroom with a 4.0 GPA. Ooh-wee. He's committed to Sacred Heart. Outstanding, man. Great school. is going to be a nice addition to that team. And he's uh plays a very good outfield too. Custom to playing some northeast baseball here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sacred Heart, New York, I think. Is that New York? New York State, I think. I don't know. I think if I recall correctly. Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh, line drive the right field for a base hit as Piper will score. Is that a first run that crosses the plate? It's for team at baseball UPA guy team. It's Piper scores on that line drive by Kolachik. That'll bring up number eight, Zach Luxick. At a Dallas area high school, a six foot, 290 pound rising senior as a first baseman, catcher, and outfielder. And they get him. Yeah. As I was looking, uh, little everybody. greedy, man. Well, little little right. greedy. Being aggressive. All good. Here it is again. Scoot your mouth. Showing some savvy on the mound as he steps off and. 
Yeah. Catches the uh, overly aggressive <laughs> cold check. Hey, cold man. Check. That's he, all right. He went on first movement. That's he was committed, right. so nothing wrong with that. All right, we'll go to a break and be right back. All right, we're back as we move to the top of the second inning here at PNC Field in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Once again for the fourth annual Shane Rivenberg Memorial Tournament. Hosted by Baseball UPA, where BFA Sports, I'm Al Fisher, along with my brother from another Doug Stasic, as Todd Kolbicka is back on the mound for Baseball UPA Guy Squad. First batter he will face is number 23. Oh, it's a shot to the right center field gap and tracked nicely. Man, wait, was this M is this MLB ball? Yeah, I mean, man. Really? That's that was. Uh, I believe that's Ryan Collins tracking that one down. It is Ryan Collins. Great job by him. That ball was a shot in the gap, and he tracked that. Took the perfect angle to it, and made the grab. Andrew, Andrew Brown now steps to the plate for Baseball U New York at an Oneida High School. He fouls a pitch to the third base side and out of play. He's six foot, 170 pounds, rising senior. He's the first baseman pitcher and outfielder. Count now 0 and 2 quickly to him as a Cole Bicca is working ahead. There's a line drive down the right field line, hooking foul. Foot and a half foul on the right field line. So Andrew Brown again, six foot, 170 pounds, got a 90 GPA. Bats left and throws left. Next pitch to him is a breaking ball that just misses. Breaking ball again as he checks, swings at it, does not offer. So the count now even at two and two with one out here in the top of the second inning. And a 2 2 pitch by Cole Becker is inside and low for a ball. So the count now goes the full at three and two. Cole Becker kicks and delivers. 3-2 pitches lifted to right field. Coming in hard is Collins, but actually the second baseman makes the grab. And that is number four, Mike Show or Mike Shaw making that catch. To find out if that's Show or Shaw. 
Aiden Burson now stepping to the plate with two outs here at the top of the second. And at Casanova High School, it's a 5'11", 185 pound, a rising senior. Line drive to center field, falls quickly for a base hit. Doesn't even get a chance to say the positions he plays, but nice job. By Aiden Burson to be a two out base runner. Here's a replay of that. It's number nine. I'll have to see if I can get a name on him. It looks like a two seven. So this might be. Yep, that looks like it's William Ruth. He's on the roster as number seven, but he's actually wearing number nine. So number nine in your hearts. This pitch is inside for a ball. Ruth at 5'11", 155 pounds. has got a 4.17 GPA, 1390 SAT score. Ruth is a second baseman catcher and outfielder. Pitch to him. The outside corner for a strike call. It's now two and one. To William Ruth out of Ithaca High School. Play second base, catcher and outfield. Fly ball lifted to center field, taking it on center fielder back and Kovalchik who tracks it down and makes the grab. And that will end this inning and see if we can get, maybe get a replay on it. Maybe not. Yes, we do. Nice split screen there. Kovacek, just look at him, track the ball nicely, had no problem with it, finishes off the inning, and we'll go to a break and be right back. Back at PNC Field. Game number two. Shot down, though. Woo! Look at him go. Him. Man, Luxick showing some speed as he gets in standing to second base. Well, you, you know, he was, was a bullet down the third base line. He was a little angry. I mean, he got the bat taken out of his hand when he, uh, at the end of that last inning, as his teammate got picked off. And it looks like we're. Moving right along. I think they did say Shao. Yep. Mike Shao stepped into the plate. Shao to Abington Heights High School, 6'3", 180 pounds. He's a rising senior. He's an outfield pitcher and utility player. The first pitch in. There goes the runner. Ball pounded the shortstop. He's going to get the third easily. Shao is thrown out at first. So, Luxick. Now finds himself a runner at third base. Right. 
Ryan Collins steps to the plate at a Dallas area high school, 5'11", 160. Breaking ball, just misses outside for a ball. Pitch lifted, foul down the first base side and out of play. So one out. 1-1 one, one count to Ryan Collins. Go. Collins has a 3.9 GPA. Pitches outside for a ball. Again, runner at third base, Luxic. 3-1 count to Ryan Collins and the pitch. Inside corner, fastball for a strike call. And 3-2 pitch. Chop slowly to third. Run will score. Goes over to first. Not in time. It's Ryan Collins gives a hard 90 on that last one to beat that infield single. And I bring up number 20, Todd Kolbicka at a Hanover area high school. Over to first, not in time to get Collins. Ball cued to third. Another slow roller. Here's the throw. Oh, nice pick and a got him. So nice work there by number 24, Burson. Making that play. Team Guy has another run across the board, so it's now two to nothing. With two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. So Rocco Valvano steps to the plate. Scranton Prep, he's 5'10", 180 pounds. Valvano is primarily a catcher, rising senior class of 21. Alvano sports a 4.2 GPA. And a 0-1 pitch, fastball high and out of the zone for a ball. It's now one and one. And a 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. It's now 1-2. and two. So Alvano swings through that high heater. Alvano calls timeout. It's Gutram out, resets on the mound, and gets his sign. Checks the runner. Kicks and delivers. Oh, no, he doesn't. So he checks him back. He actually had me fooled. He 
Here's a pitch from Kutcher Mount. Breaking ball. Outside for a ball. Count is now even at two and two. Here's a 2-2 pitch. Low for a ball. Now a full count to Valvano. Scooter Mount hanging around the 80 mile an hour mark on his fastball. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a 70 mile an hour fastball on his own. We'll see that one again. He strikes out Valvano. And Gucci Mount getting up in the zone. Nice pitch. So he gets Valvano to strike out. We'll go to a break. Be right back after this short break. We're back here at PNC Field as we move to the top of the third inning with Todd Colbicka back on the mound for Baseball UPA Guy Squad here at the fourth annual Shane Rivenberg Memorial Tournament hosted by Baseball UPA. Samson Marshall. I'm going to say that again. Let's try it again. Samson Mishrol at the plate at a JD High School, 5'10", 170 pounder. Class of 21. Line drive. Oh, just over the glove of the first baseman. As it goes to right field for a single. Yes, Valvano just missed that line drive to right field. A.J. Rothfeld steps to the plate at a Casanova. Casanova. Casanova? I guess so. 6'3", 195 pounds. Rising junior. He's an outfielder to catcher. First pitch to him is outside for a ball. Chopped down the third base side, but foul. Nice play made there by J.D. Greeley, even though it was foul. Like he had a chance to possibly make a play. So the count now, one and one. Breaking ball out of the zone to Rothfeld. Ball low. It's now three and one. So Raphael gets set in the box. And the pitch. Low for ball. So count stays at three and one. Sorry, two one now.
Ball fouled straight back and off our tent. So I jumped. <laughs> so the count now goes to three and two to A.J. Raphael. Swing and a miss. He struck him as Kobeka fights and gets him back. Good look at that last pitch. Nice pitch by Kolbicka for the first out of the inning. Number 33, Ethan Hunt hits a hard ground ball to right field for a base hit. So he picks a spot between first and second base. So runners at first and second and only one out here at the top of the third inning, I should say. Anthony Lapine will step to the plate. Class of 21 rising senior. He's a middle infielder and a pitcher. He stands at 5'10", 140 pounds. He's got a 96 GPA and 1130 PSAT. I think a PSAT score. The first pitch is lined to left field for a base hit. Rounding third and actually holding there. So we're going to have the bases juiced with only one out. And here comes Coach Mike Guy to the mound to settle down his pitcher. Cole Bicca. Bill. All right, as Mike Guy says his piece and heads back to the dugout. Now stepping to the plate is number 15, and that is C.J. Levine at a C-square high school. The middle fielder, outfielder, pitcher, class 21 rising senior is 5'10", 165 pounds. First pitch from Kolbeka, breaking ball, over for a strike call. Levine has a 3.7 GPA at C-square. Oh, another breaking ball. Just misses. Now one and one. And the one one pitch. Breaking ball. Umpire says he went, I think. And he did. So now the count now goes the one and two. To CJ Levine. C Square High School. And the pitch from Kolbeka. Fouled straight back. And out of play. As Kolbeka takes his sign. Sets and delivers. As that catches him in the back. Levine will head to first base and a run will score. As Baseball U New York now gets on the board, it's now a two-to-one ball game. And when the base is still loaded and one out, Adam Marsh, number seven, steps to the plate. Marsh out of Liverpool High School, 6'2", 185 pounds, rising senior class of 21. First pitch is a breaking ball that swings and misses. Marsh is an outfielder, first baseman, and a pitcher. Ball flare to the first base side and out of play. It's now 0-2 to Adam Marsh. You got a guy named Levine on here. If you take his name, put it here. You got Adam Levine. How about that? Never mind. That's yeah, worth a try. Nice block there, I believe. It's 
Valvano behind a dish. Actually, might be Luxic. Pitch on just misses the outside corner. Yeah, I believe that is Luxic behind the dish. Working with Todd Kolbeka. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. Hit between short and third. Tough play. Find a shortstop and be safe all around. It's another run will score by Baseball U New York. And knots it up at 2-2. And that will end this half inning as we've had five batters. And we'll go to a break. Be back right after this short break. As we head to the bottom of the third here at PNC Field, Derek Gautram out. Back on the mound at Lime High School at 5'9", 145. And the first batter he will face is number 11, and that is Scott Gilbert at Abington Heights High School. The 6'1", 200-pound rising senior class of 21 graduating year. Takes the first pitch high for a ball. Gilbert is a left-handed pitcher and a first baseman. Gilbert is now committed to Bloomsburg High School. So 1-0 pitches outside for a ball. It's now 2-0 to Scott Gilbert. We're all not up at two. As we head here to the bottom of the third inning. There's a ball lifted to right field fairly deep. Taking a right fielder back, but he gets under it and makes the grab. And that's number... I believe that's number 33 who made the play. And it was. That's Ethan Hunt out there in right field. Wyatt Pfeiffer steps to the plate at a Wallen Paul Pack High School. Big swing and a miss by Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer stands at six foot, 165 pounds. He's a class of 22 rising junior. He's a shortstop, third baseman, and catcher. Annual one pitch. Breaking ball just a little bit high. The umpire says it was just out of the zone. Pitch fouled away down behind us. So the count now goes to one and two. Dwight Pfeiffer. Ball line drive inside for a fair ball down the third baseline. It's Pfeiffer. Oh, throw gets by, and he'll move to second base. So nice job there. Nice base running by Pfeiffer. Be heads up on the base pass and force some errant throws. So he took that last pitch as a line drive down the third base side, about a foot and a half inside the line.
base station, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought he said there. Gucci Mount wheels and tries to chase back, or he does chase back. Pfeiffer. It's Pfeiffer in scoring position with one out. And Ryan Cesarini at the plate at a Valley View High School. This is at 5'11", 195 pounds. Gucci Mount winds and chases back Pfeiffer again. Pitch is a little bit high and inside for a ball to Cesarini, so the count goes to 2 0 to him. As Team Baseball UPA Guy Squad. That's a little bit of a threat here in the top, or actually the bottom of the third. Pitch is inside for a ball. Count now goes the 3 0 to Cesarini. Pitch now moves the 2 0 after that 3 0 ball from Gucci Mount as we reset the count here in the showcase setting. The 2 0 pitch outside for balls. Now 3 0. So after a Batter draws a walk, whether it's a 3-0 count, a 3-1 count, 3-2 count. Count goes back two pitches to reset, depending on the number of strikes in the count. And a showcase setting. Pitch is low and inside for a ball, so Cesarini earns a walk to first. And that'll bring up number 22, J.D. Greeley. He's been holding it down at third base this evening. Greeley, the Monmouth University commit. It's a 4.0 GPA at a Pocono Mountain West High School. Stands at 6'1", 165. Plays third base, second base, and he's also a right-handed pitcher. First pitch to him. It's over the first strike call. Gucci Mountain is... Third inning of work. So he fights to get out of this mini jam with runners at first and second and one out. He wheels and sends back Pfeiffer to second. And a one pitch, swing and a miss. So Grucher out quickly ahead of J.D. Greeley, 0-2 after that filthy breaking ball. Grucher out takes a sign, sets, checks the runner. And the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball, pounded a third. Force out there as he got a little bit of a challenge handling that one, but still makes the force out of third for the fearless choice. And that brings up Zach Kovacic. Fouls the first pitch back for a strike. Kovacic out of Valley View High School. He's 6'2", 190 pounds. Rising senior. 
And once again, he is committed at Sacred Heart. Breaking ball. Low for balls. A runner's both steal. Advance to second and third with no throw. So Kovacek has a prime opportunity with both two runners to score in position. Put a couple of runs on for Team Guy. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Ball hit the short. Kolacek busts it down the line and is caught by about a stride. And that will end this half inning. And we will go to a break and see you in just a few. And we're back here in Scranton, PA, at Penn, on PNC, rather, field. So we move to the top of the fourth inning. As baseball UPA guy could not put any runs across the board with that little mini threat. As Todd Kolbeka is back on the mound for another inning to work. Got C.J. Levine. Levine out of C-Square High School. Stands at 5'10", 165 pounds. And the pitch. Breaking ball over for a strike call. The count now evens up at one and one. Here's the one one pitch out of Kolbicka. Pounded the short. Picks and fires and gets him. Nice play by number two, and that's Pfeiffer making the play. So Wyatt Pfeiffer, it was a 6-3 ground out for C.J. Levine. Now number 22, Wyatt Patchett steps to the plate. Wyatt Patchett, 6'3", 205 pounds out of Geneva High School. We know that area of Geneva. We were there not too long ago. Patchett is a catcher, outfielder, and a pitcher as Kabeka winds and delivers. Low and outside for a ball. Count now goes to 2 and 0 to him. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Breaking ball low for a ball. Now count goes to 3 and 0. And we're in the top of the fourth here at PNC Field in Scranton, PA. Breaking ball outside for a ball. So I believe the count goes back 
again at 3-0. Again, you are watching the fourth annual Shane Rivenberg Memorial Tournament, hosted by Baseball UPA. Pitch was low for a ball from Colbeca. 79 mile an hour fastball just missing his own. So I'm happy to uh, be back and contribute instead of running around and trying to add some new new bells and whistles. Ball beaten foul down the third base side. Account now goes to three and one. So you said you contribute? Sometimes. Mostly for headaches for most of you guys, but Ajita. Uh, we just gotta push the envelope here, which is what we're doing. I mean you got a beautiful stadium like this, you gotta add that that additional camera. I happen to agree with the caller. Well, line drive, base hit to center field. That's Patchett. Rips one to center. He's a one-out base runner. And I'll bring up number 21, Andrew Brown. At Oneida High School. 6'1", 170-pound rising senior. He's a first baseman pitcher and outfielder. Brown has a 90 GPA. First pitch to him is a low and away for a ball. One zero pitches outside for a ball. It's now two and zero. Wyatt Patchett at first base with one out here at the top of the fourth. Ty Colbeka in his fourth inning to work. Fastballs on the inside corner for a strike. Is a snap throw down to first. Is not in time. They chase back Patchett to first, keeping him on his toes down there. Luxick, love the way that he has the high baseball IQ into the game every pitch. Breaking ball in the outside corner for a strike call. Nice spot by Colbicka. The count evens up at two and two. And the two two pitch hangs up there a little bit, so it's out of the zone. It's now three and two. Three two pitch to Brown. Chops it foul. Now on the first base side. Just absolutely gorgeous field here at PNC Field. Home of the New York Yankees and the Rail Riders, right? I guess it's their That's double it. A? Yes, Scranton Wilkes Bar Rail Riders, double A baseball. Ball chopped to first. Touches first. Valvano does and holds his throw as Patchett moves to second base. Didn't Scranton Wilkes Bar, didn't this used to be uh, the Phillies? Triple A? It was. It was, yeah, it was back thought. in the day. Well, they didn't have this. They didn't have this. No, no. the Yankees uh, no. built this no, no, brand no. new. No, no. <laughs> no, but I'm saying they were up here, though, at one uh, point. Oh, yeah. Yep. So Aiden Burson now steps to the plate. And a Casinovia High School stands at 5'11", 185. The first pitch to him is a breaking ball in the inside corner for a strike call. So two outs here at the top of the fourth. 0-1 pitch to Burson. 0-1 count, rather, to Burson. Breaking ball just inside for a ball. So the count evens up at 1-1. One one. Pitch is outside for a ball. That's actually Anthony Lapine. I must have came in for Patchett, who is catching. A little courtesy runner, huh? Yep, a little courtesy runner. 
thought he looked a little different after a while there. I'm like, uh, wait a minute. I look like the same guy that just hit the base. So Becca steps off the mound to chase back Lapine to second base. Ball gets by Luxick. The pine will move to third base. Got to tell you, I'm in I'm in like angle overload here. I, I bet you are. That's a pretty cool shot, though. It's a really cool shot. Imagine that. We have a four camera setup now here at BFA Sports. Only the best for baseball you led by Mike Guy. Clark, you set standards that no family could ever <laughs> what is it ever attain? Something like that. <laughs> Whatever it is. What it is yeah. National Lampoon's Christmas vacation. Here's the three one pitch. I want to wait for a ball. inside for a ball, so Burson will head to first base on that free pass. The runners at the corners. As Luxick makes his call with runners at first and third, and two out here in the top of the fourth. Up steps to the plate, number nine, and that is William Ruth. The rising senior class at 21. He's a second baseman catcher and outfielder. Stands at 5'11", 155. Just low for a ball. Ruth has a 4.17 GPA. Fastball over for a strike call. So it's now even at 101. Yes, Cole Becca tries to work his, work his way out of this fourth inning mini jam. For the runner in scoring position at third. Breaking ball outside for a ball. Cole Bicka, man, he's staying consistent, man. Love the arm slot. Love what he's trying to do here with his pitches. Repeat, rinse, and repeat. Pitches on the outside corner for a strike call. It's now one and two. I don't think it can be one and three because that means he struck <laughs> out. He's on the scoreboard. <laughs> I almost said one and three. Well, <laughs> it'd been Ron a first. Burgundy. Ron Burgundy, cues <laughs> that one down the first base side. Foul. Stay classy, San Diego. Yeah. Side Ooh. corner strike three call. Can we get a can we get a look at that one? BFA instant replay. Put out pitch here. Becca. Yeah, it wound it back Eight a little bit too much. But sure here wins. It's all right. There it is. Oof. Right on the outside corner. Nice job by Kobeka. As that ends the inning, we'll move to the bottom of the fourth. And we'll be back after this break.
We move to the bottom of the fourth inning here at PNC Field. Beautiful Scranton, Pennsylvania. It's Derek Gruchem out. We'll get another inning of work. The first batter he will face is number eight. And that is Zach Lutzik out of Dallas, Dallas Area High School. The 6'2", 190-pound rising senior. He's a first baseman catcher and outfielder working behind the dish today. The first pitch to him is on the outside corner for a strike call. Got ourselves a nice little battle as we head here in the bottom of the fourth, the 2-2 two -two score. Breaking ball. Hangs up there just out of the zone for a ball. His stamina is good, man. He's still at 68 miles an hour with a breaking pitch. and I... Talk about bringing the frost. You got, you got yeah, Frostburg, Frostburg in the house. No doubt. Frostburg University. That pitch is fouled back and out of play. There you go. So count now one and two to Zach Luxick. So we give you that view from behind home plate. And one two pitch, breaking ball. High and inside for a ball. It's now two and two. 66 mile an hour breaking ball. So if you have this loaded on S4, like we're using the four setup, if the ball's hitting you, and the two two pitch. And you don't foul straight back. And right in front of us. A little souvenir for Josh Davidson. Fast ball. High for a ball. Good job. Hanging around 77, 78 miles an hour on his fastball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. On a 77 mile an hour heater up in the zone. Yeah, here's the old put out pitch right here. Mike Schaal steps to the plate, and there is big pitch there. Got an Abington Heights High School. And he puts one out in the right field, giving chase and making the grab. Nice play by Ethan Hunt in right field. And that wasn't even an impossible mission. No, it wasn't. That nice play. Huh? Uh, that, huh? that was weak, wasn't it, Coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a nod on that. It was <laughs> corny, right? Corny uh, like coach, Batman or Robin. Coach from the Larry, liked it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Up steps number three, Ryan Collins. Oh, boy. Well, I, I like the reference, though. I did like the reference. This is not, not how it was positioned, right? I got you. Oh, well. Collins stands at 5'11", 160 pounds. <laughs> one oh pitches out of the zone. It's now two and oh. Ball lifted to right field as Hunt makes the mission very possible. <laughs> As he retires, <laughs> as he retires Collins. and we'll go to a oh, there it is again. Retires Collins, the right field, and there it is. My <laughs> home plate camera. We'll go to a break and be right back.
All right, we're back here at PNC Field as we move to the top of the fifth inning. Mike Schau now on the mound for Baseball UPA. First batter he will face is number 99, and that's Samson Mishraw. The 5'10", 170-pound rising senior. Fouls one to the first base side, now to play. Count now goes the one and one to him. Shall checks the sign, winds and delivers. <laughs> Just missed two and one. So, truth be told, usually. Uh, Mike Guy and the Baseball U PA squad, we always uh, – I, I would say we offer up some of our newest uh, ideas and technology. So we hook up this fourth camera, and you can't imagine how heavy it is. And so I, I got to give credit to uh, my wife, the intern, for uh, <laughs> trying, to, trying to hold it down because you can actually – Kind of tell by yeah. the picture a little bit, right? Yeah, it's like a little, a little, a little shaky. Heavy. Little, yeah, yeah. A little heavy. What about putting on her shoulder? Is that too much for it? No? Okay. All right. Well, I we thought go. of that. All right. Pitch is outside for ball. Count is three and two, and I believe it goes back to that count. The, the Mike guy filled up with fastballs. Yes, sir. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. So, Mishraw goes down swinging. First out of the inning. Number 27, A.J. Rothfeld steps to the plate. Rothfeld, a rising junior class of 22, is an outfielder catcher at 6'3", 195, and carries a 3.2 GPA. At Casanova High School. First pitch is a filthy breaking ball by Shal. Swings and misses by Rothfeld. My Lord. Going to have to take it to the dry cleaners. That was dirty, dirty. Oh, he went. He, yes, he did. He did. As Rafael now quickly 0-2 behind the count to Matt Schau. Schau works quickly, gets his sign in the 0-2 pitch. That's ball. High and away for a ball. It's now 1-2. and two. I love the confidence in Schau, man. He's just working his pitches around the zone. And a 1-2 pitch. Agreed. He's just uh, – he knows what he wants to throw, and he's putting it where he wants to throw it. Count evens up at two and two. And the 2-2 two -two pitch. Strike three, struck him out as Rothfeld goes down looking. Number 33, Ethan Hunt. So that last pitch was a filthy one right at the knees. Get Rothfeld looking. Shal's first pitch is a breaking ball. It gets Hunt to commit. He swings and misses, and it's now all in one. I'll show that last pitch. Oh, no, I wasn't. I'm sorry. We're back, it was. We're back to live action. For some reason, it's Hunt now quickly behind the count 0-2 as he fouls that one off to the first base side. And the 0-2 pitch outside for a ball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that will end the inning. Catch that one, uh, that last pitch from Matt Shaw to strike out Ethan Hunt. Here it is. Yep, upstairs. Up and, uh, upstairs and right on the hands, and that will end the inning. We'll go to a break and be right back.
We're back here at PNC Field. As we move to the bottom of the fifth inning. Andrew Brown now on the mound, number 21. At Oneida High School, the six foot, 170 pound lefty. He's an infielder, pitcher, and outfielder. First batter he will face is Todd Kolbicka. First pitch to him is a fastball inside for a ball. Had a nice outing out there on the hill. Showing some good control tonight. When you get a chance to be in a primetime spot, why not take full advantage of it? Good work by him. Kolbeck is a rising senior with no commitment yet. He's got a lot of – he's got good stuff. He swings the bat well. Plays his positions well, and he did very well on the mound. It's only going to be a matter of time because he is a good one. Breaking ball on the outside corner for a strike call. And the 3-1 pitch. Low for a ball. Just think. I think in the last 10 minutes, the temperature dropped about another five degrees. <laughs> and I'm doing a lot of movement. <laughs> the magic of the mountains, man. Magic of the mountains. All pounded foul. Oh. Oh. Wow. My guy going to one knee, making wow. the play, keeping it in front of him. I don't believe it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Somebody buy that man a souvenir. It's like a cat down there. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Just fouled again. That's a long run for him. Is he going to get to it? No. And the 3 2 pitch. Ball lifted to center field. So, center fielder number seven, Marsh, gets under it, makes the grab. That'll be the first out of the inning. Now bring up Rocco Valvano, uh, Scranton Prep High School, 5'10", 180-pound rising senior. He's primarily a catcher. First pitch to him is low for a ball. One of pitches inside for a ball. It's now 2-0. and oh. Valvano, man, good-looking uh, dude. Kind of guy you want behind the plate. Line drive, base hit the right field. Does that ball get out there in a hurry? I think they were thinking about trying to throw that at first. <laughs> well, yeah, it got out there so fast that it made sense, but unfortunately did not get him. And fortunately for Valvano, he's safe at first base. Then I'll bring up number 11, Scott Gilbert. At Edmonton Heights High School, 6'1", 200-pound rising senior. He's a left-handed pitcher and a first baseman. And he is committed to Bloomsburg. Yeah, we've seen him get a hold of some baseballs too, man. He is he is the real deal. Popping his bat, uh, seen him hit it poolside, hit him, seen it the, hit it the opposite way. That pitch is fouled back. Count his 0 1 to him. Pitch misses out of the zone. It's now 1 1 to Scott Gilbert. And the 1 0 pitch. Oh, one pitch, breaking <laughs> ball. Oh, <laughs> breaks his knees on that. He's even laughing wow. about it. He's like, no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely awesome. The scoreboard has not changed, but I believe the count is one and two. There goes the runner. Good pitch to run on. He is safe. As baseball UPA guy team get a little boisterous over there. I think they're. 
inspired by the great work. Here's the last play. The last stolen that, base. It was this, no, this is the pitch. Oh, this is the breaking pitch? Look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> wow, nice work. Uh, where that came from. Yes, sir. That one just missed. Wow. So I, I think it's getting so cold the scoreboard froze because it hasn't changed. The <laughs> count hasn't changed yet. <laughs> Either that or getting some hot cocoa and warming themselves up there. It could be. Oh, there it is oh. again. <laughs> Breaking ball struck him out. Yeah, just. Yes, here it is again. Talk about freezing out here. Yeah. yeah, he froze he, he this froze one. Gilbert. Holy cow. Oh, oh that's a nice pitch. <laughs> yeah, and that's Gilbert getting the other Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, can't you be nothing about that one. Tip of the cap. I'll bring up number two. That's Wyatt Pfeiffer. So he fouls that one to the first base side. Falls safely, but foul. Pfeiffer's committed to James Madison. Good Dukes. He's There's a beast one pitch. Size him. Yeah. Oh. Six foot 165. Man, I'll tell you right now. It is a it is a hook fest. He is feeling the off speed stuff and he is killing these guys right now. Because it's so deceiving how far out of the zone it looks like it's coming in. And it just drops right in, man. Woo. Yeah, Brown definitely has a filthy breaking ball. Why? Uh, chess match. He knows pitcher's kind of feeling it. He's got good tempo going. So he's going to try to break it up a little bit. Veteran move. Fastball on the inside corner. Just missed. So the count now one and two to Wyatt Pfeiffer. And the one two pitch. Breaking ball. That was another good one, but Pfeiffer lays off it. So it misses the zone. I'm pretty sure these guys out there are literally talking about this breaking ball pitch. It's like, you believe this? Valvano's <laughs> like, this is dirty. <laughs> That's ball. Ball has eyes. Shortstop cannot get to it. And they're waving to the score. And he will score as Piper moves the second and is there safely. So a CNI single to left field. Scores Valvano. And Piper moves up to second. Some good hustle to base pads. Hey, good read. You know, he, he busted it right from the jump. And I'll bring up number 10, Ryan Cesarini with Pfeiffer in scoring position. His team guy now takes a 3-2 lead here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch is over for a strike call. Brown winds and delivers. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> nasty breaking ball. This kid, he's, he's going to have a highlight reel with his <laughs> off-speed stuff <laughs> after tonight. Oh, man. I mean, the horizontal movement on that pitch is just disgusting. There goes the runner. Ball lifted to center field. Catch made there by Marsh. That will end the inning, and we'll go to a break. See you in a few.
We're back here at PNC Field. If you don't know what place this is, I keep saying it every time I come back. But we are moving to the top of the sixth inning. It's Matt Shaw. Mike Shaw, rather. He's getting his second inning of work. First batter he faces, Anthony Lapine. First pitch to him is low for a ball at a Liverpool High School. So the pine is 5'10", 140 pounds, rising senior, class of 21, is a middle infielder and a pitcher. And the pitch to him. Swing and a miss. A fastball in the outside corner. Count now evens up at 1-1 one and one on the pine. Here's the 1-1 one pitch. Breaking ball. Hit up the middle. Should be go oh, the pine getting down the line, but they... Got him. Boy, he was moving down there with a hard 90. So we get to show you again. Maybe not. We won't get to show you again. That's all right. C.J. Levine steps to the plate. And he gets tagged with a pitch. He'll get himself a free pass to first base. As a run out, one out base runner. Adam Marsh now steps to the plate with one out. Levine at first. Marsh is a 6'2", 185-pound rising senior who plays outfield first base and pitches. Here's the pitch to him. First pitch is low for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. And the 1-0 pitch. Like a probably a breaking ball that stayed out of the zone. Count now 2-0 to Marsh. Here's the 2-0 pitch. There goes the runner. Here comes the throw. And they are going to get him. So a little bit of a delayed steal there. It's Luxick. Shows off the hose. Hey, Luxick, he wasn't fooled. He just stuck with it. Here it is again. He's like, yeah, you know what? Go for it. Why not? Colbicka drops the tag. Back to live here. Pitches inside the Marsh. Get Marsh out of Liverpool High School. 6'2", 185 pounds. Pit oh, pitch man. Out straight back. <laughs> Look, he was going to make its way back to us. Yeah, that was a laser. Pitch fouled to the first base side and out of play. Count remains one and two. To Marsh. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that will end the inning. So quick work as we'll show you that last pitch. Boom. Nice work. We'll go to a break. Be back with the bottom of the sixth. Just a few.
All right, we're back here at PNC Field. We move to the bottom of the sixth inning with Andrew Brown back on the mound, who has the filthy breaking ball. We saw last half inning. See, space is J.D. Greeley at a Pocono Mountain West. The first pitch to him. It's a fastball low for a ball. Yeah, it's not exactly a fun, fun ride on this carnival. This guy is... Spinning things like a tilt a whirl. One oh pitches down and low out of the zone, so now two and out to JD Greeley. Once again, Greeley committed to Monmouth University. It's a four point oh GPA. The two oh pitch. It's outside for a ball. It's now three and oh. Well, these think we could put a little uh, fireplace here. Yeah, sure. Or maybe bring it like a little gas heater. Three zero pitch is lifted to center field. Green light three zero pitch. As Lapine gets under it, makes the grab. Makes it look easy. Now step into the plate is number 18. That's Zach Kovacic. At Valley View High School. 6'2", 190 pounds. Rising senior is committed to Sacred Heart. Breaking ball. Lifted to left field. It may fall quickly, and it does. And it's going to go all the way to the corner as Kovacic rounds first and goes into second. And he's going to go for three. Uh, here and is. here comes the throw. And a got him. Well, nice or, relay. Or did they? Did they? Well, yeah, they we'll did. see. We'll see. They did. I know. I saw the umpire make the call. I just wanted to look at this nice replay here. Yeah, this is going to be nice. This guy was on his horse, though. Look at him he out was. of the box, yep. dude. Kovalchuk wastes no time. Ball's in the corner. He's already at second base to the point where this is where he – see, he's – Oh, he's, he's, he's he just hesitated. Like, ah. and that's, a, that's a difference. Yeah. That's the whole difference right there, that slight hesitation. Yeah. Hey, man. He busted around there. He's in there. Ripped it into the corner. Yeah, so nice, nice shot. Hit. Yeah, real nice hit by Kovacic. Good athlete. So, number eight. It's going to be Luxic stepping the plate. Pitches outside for a ball. Ken Luxic out of the Dar Dallas area mm -hmm. high school. 6'2", 190 pounds. Fastball outside for a ball. It's now 2-0. and oh. Yeah, just and the two zero pitch inside corner with the fastball called strike. Count now two and one to Luxic. Pitch just misses the zone, evens up at two and two. Team baseball UPA guy has a three two lead. Here in the bottom of the six and swing and a miss. It's now three and two to Luxic. So they hold a small lead over Baseball U New York. Pitch is low on the side for a ball, so the count goes the full three and two. So Luxick earns a walk to first. Time to bring up number four, Mike Chow. Mike Chow, I should say. Cody, that's about the depth of the zoom. Like if you left it there all the time, it would be a lot easier to keep up with the whole zoom thing. You can go in now more obviously. Chow out of Abington Heights, 6'3", 180 pounds. He's an outfielder pitcher and a utility player. Did a nice job on the mound earlier today. First pitch to him was outside for a ball. So it's one to know. Oh. 
That one missed the zone as well. It's now 2-0. and oh. Count now moves the 3-0. and oh. Well, last time I uh, put a 3-0 green light. So I would assume that uh, that pitch is there. He's going to be swinging. Oh, here it is. Got him picked off. Actually, he's going to beat it out, I think. Oh, we got that. He does. Luxick showing some catcher wheels. I can hear from the dugout. I love it. <laughs> he was moving, though, man. Well, well, he made his break, and he didn't stop. And you know what? They had a chance to get him, and they didn't. Well, with the lefties, you have to go on first movement. I mean, at that point, you're you're all in. Um, and that's exactly what he did. Pitch remains out of the zone. Going to talk it over with the uh, coach here. Yeah, I think uh... – Going to make a change. Yeah, I think they're going to make a change, especially yeah. when it's cold like this. Sometimes, you know, you, you tighten up just a little bit and, you know, you want to make sure that he's feeling okay. So I think we're going to have a mid inning pitching change right here. So why don't we go to a break? We've got a guy coming out of the bullpen. Look at this. Wow. Dang. Dang. Oh, yeah, see, they, they could have done that. Marsh, here there he comes. You go. Marsh coming out of the pen. <sighs> And while the music's playing, why don't we go to a break so we don't have any copyright infringements? <laughs> we'll see you in a few. All right, we're back. As Maniac plays in the background, luckily it's cut off just in time. As we're back at PNC Field, we move to the bottom of the seventh inning. And uh, and got a count. I think it's 2 0. Yeah, I did I know hear the board that. It says 3 0. Yep, but. yep. So we are here in the bottom of the sixth inning. First pitch from Marsh is over for a strike call, so it's two and one to Mike Shaw. Two one pitch is low and away for a ball. It's now three and one. And a three one pitch. Low for a ball. And Shao draws a walk to first. Now to bring up, now to bring up number three, Ryan Collins, at Dallas area high school. Collins sports a three point nine GPA. 
First pitch is fouled away for strike. Collins, another one, is a very solid ball player. Class of 21 rising senior. No one pitches inside for a ball. I'll hang here side by side. Check out Luxick, the catcher on the bases, since he's been a bit sneaky, sneaky fast, swiping bags. <laughs> so, but I'd also sit here and say with uh, two outs, he's going to be wheeling on contact. Ground ball through the left side and base hit as Luxick will round third and he will score. His team guy takes the four to two lead. Hey, watch the wheels of the catcher, man. We have it? Yes, we do. Oh, nice shot. Takes a nice turn around third. He doesn't run like a catcher, as they say. Nah, man. Who says a catcher is slow, though? Just about everybody. Nah. That'll bring up Todd Kolbicka. The Mr. Do-It-All, third baseman, second baseman, right-handed pitcher, and outfielder. Is there any pitch position? Oh, only catcher left. So he plays every other position. Except <laughs> yeah, it's a lot not, of – There's no first. Either. Yeah, so first uh, and catcher. But he's like Bugs Bunny. He does have some speed, which we all know Bugs does. Bugs does great a lot of things in baseball, but my man could run. And one pitch is outside for a ball. Okay, now evens up at one and one. Once again, we are BFA Sports. I'm Al Fisher, along with my brother from another Doug Stasic. I think Montage Mountain's open yet. Feels like it. Sure does. Pitch is lifted to the right field side, as it looks like. Oh, tough play. So that was in no man's land, and one run will score, and here comes a second. As Collins scores. And that will end this inning. And I'm not sure if it's a game or not. Actually, nah. We're switching it up. We are switching it up. All right, we'll go to a break and be right back. As we return here to PNC Field, this will be the last half inning of this ball game. Oh, I thought, Mike Schell. I thought it was the m, m concert. I didn't know it was going on, That's man. why I talked over it. I want to make sure to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mike Schell will try to close it out for Team Baseball UPA Guy. First batter he'll face is C.J. Levine. First pitch to him is outside for a ball. So at least then we're either going to get three outs or possibly up to five batters and – and then we'll go and then we'll go 
thaw out. There you go. <laughs> this next pitch is inside for a ball. It's now 2-0. Oh. Ball hit the third, cut off there nicely. Here's the throw. Nice play. Who is that man? That's CJ Greeley. Here it is. There Here's a goes. replay. Watch this play. Really nice. Like a Dyson vacuum. Huh. Nice. Oh, man. All in one motion. Yeah, man. Beautiful. So That's weak. the first out of the inning. And then I'll bring up number 22, and that's Wyatt Patchett. Patchett, who lined a single to right field the last time up. First pitch to him is high and inside for a ball. Is that at Geneva High School, Doug? We know that place. We've been in Geneva. Been there. Been there, done that, got the T-shirt. Wine country up on uh, yeah. the Finger Lakes. Oh, nasty breaking ball over for a strike call. 70 miles an hour. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Foul tip. That might have gotten the uh, got the umpire, and he says he's good. Hey, it's amazing how that works when you're at the tail end of a game, how much, you know, how much it doesn't hurt as much. It's just weird. <laughs> I'm good. Can't I'm good. see, but, yeah, I'm a little dizzy, lightheaded. <laughs> but you know what? This is the last frame. I'm just going to keep going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Yeah, man. Yeah, they still did the courtesy. That's good. Showing respect. Pretty sure Pfeiffer was hoping that there's a BFA replay of that, but sorry. Oh, he, sorry, why? Oh, uh, we don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Ball pounded to short. Backhanded there. There won't be a play on him. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, where are we going? We got, there we uh, <laughs> And they're, they're, he got, they're riding him a little bit. He got caught out in no man's land. <laughs> Lucky he got back. <laughs> Aiden Burson stepping to the plate with one out and a runner at first base. So we get a courtesy runner for Patchett. First pitch to him, outside for a ball. Just low and away for ball. Shall sets in the pitch. Over first strike call. Count now goes to two and one. Again, a runner at first. Uh, swing and a miss by Burson. Nice breaking ball. Uh, count goes to two and one. Or did he say full count? He did say full count. Okay. All right, Ron Burgundy. Way to read the scoreboard. <laughs> it's 3 2. The pitch is fouled straight back. So the count remains three and two.
Here's the 3-2 pitch. Strike three, struck him out on the outside corner. Can we get a look at that one again? Here it is. Oh, nice spot. Yeah, man. That's there. That is a pitcher's there, pitch. There was, there was no complaint from Burson. He knew it. He's like, <laughs> I'm out. All right, that's two out. And I bring up number nine, William Ruth. Out of Liverpool High School. Ruth with a 1390 PSAT. A 4.17 GPA. Man, 4.17. Mm -hmm. Getting it done. She is. Counting out 2 0 to Ruth. Swing and a miss. It's now 2 and 1. He's at Ithaca High School. Rising seniors, 5'11", 155. Which is outside for a ball. Line drive. Snagged by the second baseman. And that will end the ball game. It's called Bicca. Grabs that one and ends it. We do not have a replay, so that's it. Uh, we're right. at a ball game, but we're going to go. We'll see you tomorrow for four more games here at PNC Field. And for BFA Sports, Mal Fisher, Doug Stasic. Can't, can't wait to see you play, play ball. ball.